Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is my second video with the uh, Mavic uh, Mini since I got it just a few days ago. I did an unboxing, and a detailed unboxing to show you guys what other pre-release YouTubers did not show. So I hope uh, you enjoyed it if you saw it. Now, before going outside to fly, I thought that I would kind of build a wind tunnel in my basement. It's just behind over there actually. So I moved the furniture uh, it's a wind tunnel, but it's a square, not a, <laughs> not like a, a tunnel. Um, I was hoping to get a huge industrial fan from a friend in the construction, but I cannot get it, unfortunately. So I have my big fan, like a house fan, but it's not a huge fan. So we're going over there, and I'll use my animometer to measure the wind speed. So hopefully, I'd like to get at least 5, 10, and if and hopefully 20 kilometers per hour. I'm not sure with that fan, but we'll measure and then we'll see. So I want to see how when the Mini is flying in P mode with the downward vision system, if it is very stable uh, when there is wind. So we can see that before we go and fly outside. It's going to be difficult anyway flying outside to measure the wind because as soon as you go above the tree line, often the wind doubles and you cannot go there to measure the wind. So let's do this flight indoor first and then maybe in the next video I'll go outside and uh, we'll do more testing with the Mini. So let's move over there. So this is my setup. We have the camera here and we have the big open space over here and I have the fan over there. So it's a powerful fan, not industrial type, but it, well, it should do it. So we'll try here first. We'll try the first speed. And I have here my anemometer. We'll turn this on. And it's in kilometers per hour at the moment. And we'll just stand here. As you can see, it is turning. We have the fan right there. And we are here trying to... Uh, I may have to go a bit lower. But we have uh, about 5 kilometers per hour in speed one so this is like a uh, very light uh, breeze we'll go to speed two and uh, well it makes a major difference we'll see here on the uh, on the device it's going up to eight eight nine kilometers per hour if we could reach ten that would be ideal but uh, we have we went to all the way to nine when I move a bit sideways so that's not bad Let's try it now speed number three. Oh, it's a lot, it's a lot more windy here. Like, my uh, device is measuring, um, I'm kind of questioning the measurement because when I stand outside and I fly my uh, Phantom 4 Pro, the wind I see right now is equivalent to, I would say, around 20 kilometers per hour. So I'm really questioning my uh, animal uh, meter. I hope it's well calibrated. I got that from Amazon a while ago. I hope it's well calibrated, but it's way above for sure. It's way above 10. Like I said, I am guessing about, about 20. And you can easily see looking at the lanyard. I mean, the lanyard would not move like that if this was 10 kilometers per hour. So again, from my experience, I think this is 20. So we have... per hour which is perfect all right guys the drone is right here on the floor we can see here the uh, the limit of the fan and we have like a, a uniform background so we'll take off and see what's going to uh, happen here I'll try to stay in the field of view of the of the camera we'll set our speed to five kilometers per hour Hopefully we can hear the fan here in the uh, in the uh, in the microphone. So I'm going to take off now. So I'm going to fly above. As you can see, very very stable. I'm going to go right in the middle of the field of view, and now I'm going down in the wind. The light at the back is blinking twice green, so no tap here. You can see here the light. It means that we are in P mode 
with downward vision positioning system, so no GPS. And again, if I go below the wind, very stable. I go above, very stable. So we can see how much even a light breeze. Look at that. That gives us an indication of what kind of behavior we can expect outside. So now let's go to 10 kilometers per hour. I'm going to go below the wind, very stable. I'm going up. As you can see, it is shaking. <laughs> That's interesting because my Phantom 4 Pro obviously would never behave like that. If I go above the wind here, you can still see the drone, very stable. I go in the wind and look at that. Shaking, look at this. Now let's go to 20 kilometers per hour. Oh, look at that. I'm going to go down. Very stable. Well, there's a more wind now, so stable here, kind of. If I go above the wind, very, very stable, you can see. And if I go in the wind, I'm going to move sideways a bit. Oh, look at that. It is shaking like crazy. Wow, that's interesting. I did not expect the shake to be so high frequency. So this is what's happening when it's flying in the air. I'm going to zoom in. So when we're flying outside in the air, this is what's happening to the drone. I'm going to fly right there. I'm going to turn a little bit. Go in front of the, I'm just in front of the fan. Look at that. And now looking at us. Wow, interesting. Let's uh, zoom out. Okay, we're going to land now. Oh, and by the way, see the, see the LED in the wind was blinking red? I did not see that in the manual. When it's blinking like this twice green, it means that it is in P mode with vision working but sometimes as you can see it goes red and uh, i don't know i don't know really if i have a defective mini because it's not supposed to do this red light again it's not covered in the manual so i'll have to do more uh, research so uh, let's land Well, guys, I'm back in my uh, Super Duper Studio. Uh, I did not expect this result at all. Even at five kilometers per hour, we could see the Mini like shaking at a high frequency, and it got even more shakier or shaky at 10 and 20 kilometers per hour. Wow! So I flew a few times over the past couple of days outside, and. Um, but the drone is far away, so you cannot see really how it shakes, but that shows you how much the gimbal is working to compensate for all that shake. Like, I am amazed because I look at the few videos that I did outside. I'm going to post that eventually in the next few days, maybe. And uh, the gimbal is doing an amazing job considering the amount of shake that uh, we saw in my uh, big uh, uh, wind tunnel. So thank you guys for watching and have any questions or you would like me to try something, uh, just let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can do it. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye guys.